Hi everyone and welcome to week seven of the Siskiyou Sustainable Co-op Rogue Cooking CSA style. This week in your box you got escarole. Did you know what escarole is? I thought it was just lettuce but it actually is a variety of endive also similar to radicchio and it is a green that can be used either cooked or raw. And so today what we're going to do is feature a main dish, penne pasta with sausage and escarole. I've got a pot of hot water on the stove uh, getting to a boil that I'm going to use for the penne pasta. And while that water is boiling, I am going to go ahead and put in two cups of chopped onions and a red bell pepper. I've got about two tablespoons of olive oil, nice and hot. And I'm going to go ahead and saute about two medium-sized onions. It should be the equivalent of about two cups of chopped onions. And red bell pepper. Now, we haven't received any peppers yet. We will soon, but we haven't gotten any peppers in our box yet. But I have, from last season, roasted red bell peppers in my freezer. So I went ahead and just chopped up some that had already been roasted and frozen. And I'm going to modify the recipe that way. Okay, one pound of penne pasta is going into the water. It's going to cook for approximately 11 minutes until it's just al dente. And meanwhile, I've got the onions and red bell pepper sauteing in the olive oil. We're going to do that until they're nice and soft, till the vegetables are wilted, approximately four or five minutes. So I've added a half teaspoon of salt and some black pepper to the vegetables. And now that they are soft, I'm going to go ahead and add about a pound and a half or so of sausage. And this is just a ground pork sausage. You could do any kind of sausage, or if you're vegetarian, you could leave it out and add some more yummy vegetables. And we're going to go ahead and just let that get nice and brown. I've got the heat up at about medium high. And as this cooks and browns, I'm just going to keep pushing it down with the spoon so it gets nice and brown and just a little bit crispy. So it's done cooking and I've gone ahead and poured it into a colander in the sink. I've reserved one cup of the cooking liquid though because that we're going to add to the final dish and it's going to make it really creamy and it's going to add kind of a saucy flavor to it. Uh, in the meantime, I've chopped the entire head of escarole. Part of it I've already added to the pan where the sausage and the onions and uh, peppers are cooking. Now what I've discovered here is that my pan is not big enough. So I'm going to go ahead and recommend that if you cooked your meat and vegetables in a small pan, this one I think is about 13 inches, um, you're going to need a bigger one because we're going to finish this off in the same pan. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer everything to this pan and we'll pick up from there. Okay, so this has cooked down. We cooked for about five minutes until the greens were nice and wilted. The bigger pan definitely made a big difference, so I highly recommend that. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and add the pasta that we drained into the colander, as well as the one cup of the reserved cooking liquid. And this just kind of brings the whole thing together. We're going to just stir and combine while the heat is still on, I've still got that at about medium high. And I'm going to combine this. Wow, it looks amazing. And let it cook till it's heated through, which should be about two minutes. And then to finish it off, I'm going to add Parmesan cheese, about a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and crushed red pepper to taste. Okay, so we've now added Parmesan cheese. I've drizzled a little bit of olive oil over the top, and I'm gonna add some crushed red pepper. And this is going to be amazing. Okay, so there it is. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Penne pasta with sausage and escarole. I hope you enjoy it. See you next week.